Hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face Charlotte Tilbury look. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, Charlotte Tilbury is like my ride or die. I've already done one other full face Charlotte video, uh, but I feel like my collection wasn't as strong. And she's just, her products are everything to me. If I could just pick one brand to use for the rest of my life, it would probably be Charlotte Tilbury. So yeah, I just wanted to create a nice, I'm kind of feeling like maybe a smoldering look today. So yeah, I just got all of my Charlotte Tilbury products whipped out here and we're gonna create a nice, nice little look with them. I'm starting out with Wonder Glow. Now this really is not an essential product for me. I think it's a nice product from Charlotte Tilbury, but uh, personally, I, I, I could live without it. I'm not a big primer person, most of you all know that. And this to me is just kind of like a nice sheer glowy base primer, but it does give you, you know, a nice, nice little bit of radiance going on. One of my all time favorite foundations is the Light Wonder Foundation. Um, something about this is just, it's just it for me. I absolutely love the finish with this. Anytime I'm doing a special occasion look, if I am traveling, most of the time this is the foundation that comes with me. It has the perfect amount of coverage to it. I love the healthy, like radiant, youthful finish that it gives. I mean, it says youth boosting skin perfect foundation. Who doesn't want that? I've mixed shades three and four, which three is normally my lightest shade that I wear in the winter time. And then four is kind of what I bump up to in the summertime. Right now I'm a little bit in between. So I have just mixed those two together and I'm applying them again with the same brush. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. I've been loving this for my foundation recently, but um, just something about this is immediately flawless skin, healthy looking skin. It's not overdone and you just look so youthful and radiant. So um, this formula I have been a fan of for years now and I just, I, I can't live without it. So my first ever experience with Charlotte Tilbury, uh, that was actually a video that I did several years ago. It was when her Magic Foundation uh, first launched and I was so excited for it. I had never tried any Charlotte Tilbury products in the past. I placed an order for the foundation, the brush that came with the foundation, uh, actually the eyes to mesmerize in this exact color that I'm probably gonna use today. And something else, I can't remember what else I ordered, but I ordered three or four things and I was so disappointed. I did not like Magic Foundation. The brush shed all over my face when I tried to use it. Uh, and then it was the eyes to mesmerize. I thought it was really pretty, but kind of expensive for what the product actually did. So I'll never forget this. I was so disappointed. I never returned makeup whenever I was younger. I just, I don't know, I, I always hated doing that. But I remember I just graduated from college or I was still in college and I was like, damn, this was like a $250 order. I'm never gonna use these products again. And I, I think I returned everything that I bought from, um, from Charlotte Tilbury. And it wasn't several, or it wasn't until several months later, I gave it another shot. My friend was like, you need to try Light Wonder, you'll love it. So I ordered Light Wonder, a few other things, and I never looked back from that point on. I just, I had a really rough start with Charlotte Tilbury, but now, <sighs> ride or freaking die, people. Okay, so I have Magic Away Concealer and also the Retoucher Pen. I much prefer the Retoucher Pen. I think it is a great concealer, especially if you have mature skin. But I don't really, I've only really used my Magic Away Concealer probably, if I'm being honest, like four or five times. So I'm gonna give it another shot today. I have the shade, I think it's three. Yeah, I have three fair. What I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on the back of my hand and again, I'm gonna use that same brush. I think it is a heavier formula, so that's why I wasn't really initially that crazy about it, but I'm just going to try applying it very, very lightly. 
I actually like the way this looks much better than just applying it straight from the tube to my face. This actually looks a lot smoother. I just gave away my second airbrush flawless powder from Charlotte. That is, that's, that's the other product that I ordered with the magic foundation. And I have never been a fan of that product. That's just one of her products that I never was able to get on board with. And I don't know if I should be getting the lighter shade. Maybe if I try the lighter shade, I will like it better. But I've always just used the shade medium, which seems to always match me. But I don't know. I just find that it never looks good on me. So I'm just going to use a little bit of translucent powder to set my under eye area and T-zone. Um... Yeah, there's the Magic Foundation and the Airbrush Flawless Powder. Those two products are kind of like the ones that just, they don't work for me, so I, I stay away. By the way, I did my brows off camera because I don't have Charlotte Tilbury's brow products, any of them, so I just had to work with what I had today. I'm gonna start out with my eyes with the Eyes to Mesmerize. This is in Jean, and uh, the way when I first bought this product, the way that I applied it was with a brush because that's how I saw Charlotte Tilbury do it in her videos. I find that it is a little bit more intense, a little bit more full on if I just use my finger. So I am just going to apply this product with my finger. I think it is a stunning, very easy to use product. Uh, can be easily duped, I think, uh, at the drugstore, even with like something uh, like a MAC paint pot. Now they're not the moussey texture like this, but they will give you a similar finish. But I do like this product. It is very easy to throw on. It's kind of like a no fuss, quick eye brightener. And you can't really mess up with it. I've just let that sit for a minute. And now I want to do like the classic Charlotte Tilbury winged eyeliner. So I've got my perfect powder, a classic eye powder pencil. This one is in Audrey. And I'm going to do a pretty, I think I'm going to do a pretty thick wing today. It's going to be all about the wing. What's really great about this pencil is it's a powder in pencil form. So you can manipulate it very easily. Now, if you have oily eyelids, this is not the one to go for y'all. I mean, it, it easily like just me rubbing it like this, it will rub away. Now it does, it does kind of sit after you, um, after you've had it on your eye for a while, but it's not the longest wearing. I just love how easy it goes on. I mean, just like the easiest pencil to work with. I've brought you all in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. It's starting to rain outside, so it's getting a little bit darker. But I'm gonna take her uh, Dolce Vita palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually just gonna pick up the dark brown in here on my little Marc Jacobs smudger brush. And we're just gonna, we're gonna smudge this. We're gonna make it pretty smoky. I just, I, I just wanna do like messy, smoky wing liner. I have her little holiday palette here. This was the Stars in Your Eyes palette. And I'm gonna pick up this really kind of glittery, just over top coat color. And I'm just gonna press that into my eyes. I just, we're, we're gonna go full on glitter central today.
Full Fat Lashes Mascara. It is very volumizing. It is a nice dry formula. So if you like dry mascara formulas, you will like this one. This is like, I'm on my third tube this year, I think. I popped on some Ardell Demi Wispies because I just feel like with such a strong winged liner, they need a little bit more lash. So moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to just give my skin a little bit of a glow, a bronzy glow, and I'm going to be using the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. Love this bronzer in here. It's a great kind of like neutral tone. It's not too warm, not too cool. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the usual places. This is her Cheek to Chic Blush in Ecstasy. I really want to try her, um, I'm going to Nashville this weekend. I might pick one up. I really want to try one of her Beach Sticks, which are kind of like her cream blushes. There's one, I think it's called Moon Beach, maybe. It looks really, really pretty. Like... I really want it on my face right now. So for a bit of glow, I'm going to use her Hollywood Flawless Filter. This can be used as a primer. It can be used as specifically a highlighter. I really like using it on top of my makeup. I just feel like it brings life back to the skin. So I'm just going to take my setting brush. I've got a little bit on the back of my hand here. A little goes a long way with this product. And I'm just going to uh, press it in the areas where I would generally put like a powder highlight. I'm going to do Pillow Talk as my lip combo. I'm going to use the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat and also Pillow Talk Lipstick. I don't normally use this combo. Normally my go-to is Kim KW Lipstick with Iconic Nude Lip Cheat. But I thought that the Pillow Talk combo would fit better with her new Collagen Lip Bath. This one is in Rosy Glow. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to switch it up a bit. So... All right, so um, I'm sorry it is so dark. It's complete thunderstorms all week. I had to pick the best time frame for lighting, and this was it. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of giving me a little bit of like 70s glam vibe with the thicker uh, wing. Um, I, I'm, I'm a fan of this. I love seeing her just exaggerated winged looks on all her models. So I thought I would give it a shot today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury product is down below. If you've never tried Charlotte Tilbury, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.